Alright, hey guys, so this is going to be a heel tutorial for how to work a German short row heel as it's written in my Shine Bright Socks pattern. So the first uh, row that we're going to do is the setup row. So needle one, you're just going to continue across in whatever pattern you're working in. So um, obviously if you're doing the Shine Bright Socks, you're going to be working um, from the diamond pattern um, or the diamond charts. For this tutorial, I'm just going to be doing um, stockinette, just to show you the basics. So work across needle one, continuing in whatever pattern you're working. And when you get to the end, we're just going to turn our work for needle two, just like we usually do in the magic loop method. So now needle two, it just says to knit all of these stitches. So we're going to knit across. And when you get to the end of needle two, instead of turning and pulling our cord like we would for magic loop, we're just going to turn our work, keep this needle out, so that we can work back across needle two. So now we're going to be working back and forth on needle two to create our heel. So the next row, um, the first thing that you'll see is DS, which stands for a double stitch, which is how we're going to make this German short row heel. So whenever you see DS or double stitch, you're going to make sure that your yarn is in the front. Take your right hand needle and slip that first stitch purl wise. And then you're going to take your yarn, your working yarn, and bring it up and over the right hand needle and when you pull it back you'll see that it creates this these two stitches right here that is why it's called a double stitch there are two strands here so that's how you work your double stitch and you want to make sure that you pull this working yarn really tight so that you can get um, no holes or very tiny holes that won't um, make your heel easier to wear through. So you're going to pull this really tight and I like to hold this double stitch once I've pulled tight enough. And then next we're going to purl back across this row so bring your yarn back to the front and purl across this row. And this method will work um, whether you're a continental knitter like I am if you're holding your yarn in the, your left hand or if you're an English knitter and you're holding it in your right hand. It's the same concept, same technique. So we're just going to purl all the way to the end of this row. And then we're going to turn our work. So we're now going to start repeating rows one and two. So row one, the first thing you do is work a double stitch. So same thing that we just did. Make sure that your yarn is in the front. And then you're going to slip this stitch purlwise um, to the right hand needle bring your working yarn from the front and over the top of that needle to the back. And again, it looks a little different, but you can still see there are two strands in that double stitch. So that's how you know you've done it correctly. And again, pull tight, and I like to hold it there. And so in row one, we're going to knit back across. And you're going to knit all the way across until you get to the previous double stitch that you made.
So when we get down here, make sure you'll be able to see this is the double stitch that we made. It's all the way at the end there. So you're going to knit up to that. Now this last one sometimes can be really close to it. Um, it's totally fine if you need to pull it away just to make sure that that is not a double stitch. Make sure that you're knitting all those regular stitches. So we've gotten to our previous double stitch right here and this is what it'll look like on the knit side of the work. And so when you get there, you're going to turn your work. So we're now on row two, and the first thing you're going to do is a double stitch. So yarn in front, slip that stitch purlwise to the right hand needle, bring your yarn up and over to the back of the work, pulling that stitch tight. You can see the two strands again. And then you're going to purl back across your work. And so again, you're going to purl until you get to that double stitch. And of course, I've got a giant yarn knot. Get my yarn untangled. Okay, so you're going to purl back across again to that previous double stitch that you worked. And so we're at the end here, and you can see this double stitch looks a bit weird. Um, there's kind of a little knot here, but you can pull it down and see that there is um, two strands to this stitch. So that's your double stitch. So make sure that you're getting all of the regular stitches up to that. And then you're going to turn your work again. So now we're just going to keep repeating rows one and two until you have um, the number of stitches left in the middle that is specified in the pattern for your size. So I'll show you rows one and two a couple more times. So this is row one because we're on the knit side here. Yarn in front to work the double stitch. Slip that stitch purlwise to the right hand needle. Bring your yarn up and over that stitch or your right hand needle. Pull it tight and work back across your row. So you're going to knit right up until your previous double stitch, which again you can see here, there are two strands there. And when you get to that double stitch, again you're going to turn. So now we're working another row two. Make sure your yarn's in front for your double stitch. Slip that stitch purlwise to the right hand needle. Bring your yarn up and over that right hand needle, pulling that yarn tight. Again, I like to hold that stitch after I've pulled it tight to keep it there. And then you're going to purl back across your row until you get to the previous double stitch. And so again, you can see we've reached that double stitch. And so we're going to turn our work. And I'll show you guys rows one and two just one more time. So again, we're on the knit side. Work that double stitch, yarn in front, slip it purlwise, bring that yarn up and over, pulling it tight, and then work back across your row.
And remember, you're going to stop when you get to that first double stitch that you reach. So you can see we've gotten to our double stitch. So we're going to turn our work. And again, work a double stitch. So yarn in front, slip the stitch purlwise, bring your yarn up and over your right hand needle, pull it tight, and purl back across the row. So again, you're going to keep repeating these two rows until you have the number of stitches left in between um, your double stitches that are left. In, so basically, um, the pattern will tell you um, to work until you have 11 stitches left or 13 stitches left in the middle. So you're going to keep repeating these rows. So again, I've gotten to my double stitches, so we're going to turn our work. Now, um, so what I mean by that, you can see we have double stitches on this end of the work and we have double stitches right here at this end. So if we ignore those, these are the stitches that are left in the middle. Those are the ones that you're going to be counting. Um, so you're going to have a certain number of stitches left in the middle, and so you would just count those stitches in between all of the double stitches. Now I'm not going to work a full heel just um, so that this isn't super long. So when you get to the number of stitches left in the middle that you're supposed to have, you're going to go to row three of the heel pattern. And row three tells you first to make a double stitch. So as usual, yarn in front, slip it purlwise, bring the yarn up and over, pull it tight. And then it tells you to knit to the previous double stitch, just like you've been doing. And then when you get to that double stitch, it tells you to knit one, and then in parentheses it says work the double stitch as one stitch. So this is your double stitch. This is where we're going to knit one. So you want to treat this stitch, as, both of these strands, as one stitch. So you're going to make sure that you go under both strands of that double stitch. And you can see here there are even two strands on the needle that you've picked up. So make sure that you have both strands of that double stitch and knit it together as one stitch, just like that. And then you're going to turn your work. So row four, again, starts with a double stitch, so same thing that we've been doing and these stitches now will be a bit um, bigger just because you've just worked a double stitch and now you're making another one out of it that's totally normal so again make sure that you're still pulling this tight and on row four we're going to purl back across this row So when you reach the previous double stitch, which again, this is kind of what it looks like, at least for me on the purl side, you can still see um, those two strands. So row four tells you to purl one, again, working that you're going to work that double stitch as one stitch. So on the purl side, of course, you need to bring your yarn in front to purl. And same thing, you're going to pick up these two strands of this double stitch. So make sure that you have both strands of that like such. They should both be on the needle and then just purl them as one stitch. And then we're going to turn our work. 
And so now you're going to start repeating rows 5 and 6. So row 5 starts with a double stitch. And then you're going to knit back across. So we're going to knit to our previous double stitch. So once we get to the double stitch, it then tells you, row 5 tells you to knit 2. So again, you're going to be treating these double stitches as one stitch. So this one, it's a little bit bigger, but it's the same thing. Make sure that you're going under two strands there and knit that as one stitch. So that's one knit stitch and we need to knit another one. So it's the same thing. Make sure you're going under two strands here and knit them as one stitch. So now you've done a knit two and you're just going to turn your work. And row six is the same concept but with pearls. So you're going to start with your double stitch, purl back across this row, And once we get to our previous double stitch, it says to purl two. So same thing, make sure that you're picking up two strands of that double stitch. So that's one. And then we need to purl a second time. So we're going to go to the next double stitch. Remember to pick up two strands there and purl them as one stitch and then turn your work. So now you're just going to be repeating rows five and six that I just showed you until you have one double stitch left on this end and you'll have no double stitches left on this end. So you'll be facing, um, you'll be looking at the knit side and you'll have one double stitch over here and no double stitches over here. Okay, so once you've finished all of your repeats of rows five and six, you should have one double stitch here on the left side of the needle. So you can see that one double stitch there. It looks kind of weird, but it is a double stitch. Um, and then on the other side, you'll have no double stitches and this is when you're viewing from the knit side so if you hadn't already started to notice um, the repeats of five and six are helping build the other half of your heel so even though I haven't done all the repeats necessary you can see it is making a heel shape so once you've finished your repeats of five and six the next row says to make a double stitch so just like we have been doing yarn in front, slip this stitch purlwise, bring your yarn up and over your needle, pull it tight, and you're going to knit to that previous double stitch, which will be the one on the end. So when you get to that double stitch on the end, just like usual, it says to knit one, so you're going to knit both of those strands of the double stitch, you can see them there, as one. And then it says to pick up two stitches in this space. So in between the last stitch that you worked and the first needle, you're just going to pick up two stitches. And what I like to do um, is just find a spot 
and pick up a stitch and just test it out. If it looks like there's going to be a giant hole there, then um, drop that off of the needle and try to pick up in a new spot, but that looks okay, so I'm just going to keep going. And then you're going to pick up a second stitch. So you want to make sure you pick up two stitches there. And then we're going to start working in the round again. So you're going to set your needles back up for a magic loop. And so this will read round one um, in the heel section. And so for this you're going to knit across needle one. Again, if you're doing some type of pattern, like in the Shine Bright Socks pattern, um, whatever the last round was that you worked on the front, you want to pick up right after that so that you're continuing the pattern. So I'm just going to knit across needle one. So when you get to the end of round of uh, the first needle on round one, you're just going to turn your work and pull the needle. Just regular old magic loop method there. And prepare to work on needle two. And so we're going to do the same thing on this side. We're going to pick up two stitches um, in this space between needle one and needle two. So same thing as the other side, I just like to find a spot and it's really just trial and error when it comes to picking up stitches. Um, just test it out and you know like here um, there's kind of a big hole so I generally would drop this off of the needle and try to find another spot where it maybe won't have a big hole. Sometimes it can be fiddly. And then you're gonna pick up another stitch. You need to pick up two stitches, just like the other side. And then you're going to move on to knitting across the stitches on this needle. So this first one is a double stitch and it'll work the same way. Make sure that you're picking up two or sometimes it'll look weird and it'll be more than two strands um, just because we're working it from the opposite side you can kind of see there's more than two strands there that's perfectly fine just make sure that you're picking up that entire half of the stitch and knitting it as one stitch and then you're just going to knit across needle two to the last two stitches. So those last two stitches will be the two that we just picked up. these last two stitches here you're just going to do an SSK so slip the first one knit wise slip the second one knit wise insert that left needle into the front and knit both of them together and then you're going to turn your work and come back around to needle one and so now we're in now we're going to be knitting round two of the pattern if you're following along and again it just says for needle one to continue across in pattern so I'm just going to knit across the front of the sock
and then turn. There we go. And then turn for needle two. And when you get to needle two, you're going to knit these first two stitches together. So just go into both stitches to knit them both at the same time. Knit them together. And then you're going to knit across to the last two stitches again. And when you get to those last two stitches, again, you're going to just do an SSK. So slip, slip, and knit. So now you've decreased those two stitches that you added on this side. And now for round three, again on needle one, you're just going to continue in pattern across and turn to work on needle two. And for needle two, you're going to again knit these first two stitches together. So knit two together. And then you're just gonna knit across all the way to the end of this needle. And so now you have you hopefully won't have any holes in either of these sections um, on the ends where you've picked up those stitches. Hopefully there won't be any gaps between the heel and the end step, which is the front of the sock. And that is how you work a German short row heel.